is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We got Mr. Joey D coming on here, hopefully in 10 minutes. But let's talk about wheat here. I posted the chart here. Uh, this is the one we got from Mike uh, from over in uh, Poland the other day, and we've been waiting for this bottom to form. Now, we've rallied, we rallied 20 cents off the first bottom, and you can notice that we're coming down hard again. Uh, our game plan, of course, is to buy them down around 592. So we still got another nine cents to go to the downside. So that'll be set up for Monday, most probably. But we've had great activity here in the grains, just the opposite of what's been going on in the stocks. And so it's been uh, it's been quite exciting. Also, the U.S. dollar uh, has uh, gained strength again. It's uh, hit the, the euro hard again. But folks, we've got numbers down there that are really going to be important. So make sure if you get to trade what you see newsletter this week that you pay close attention to the numbers because they hit pretty nicely uh, when they hit. So I think it's it's worthy of uh, you know you watching it. So I think it's important. But what I'd like to do now is to just talk just a little bit. We've only got a few minutes before Joe comes on. I want to post the. Uh, the nearby chart of the December wheat that we've been waiting to see. Oh dear, this may or may not post, so let's just try to see if we can. We might be able to do it. By golly, I think we got a real chance. Please. It worked. Okay, here was the first bottom right here, folks. Okay, we had the buy set in right there. Okay, now we went a penny above the bottom, so we went all the way up. That was a 22 cent move. And we got out of it right in here. It came back down. We went up, made a 78% retracement. Now, folks, this is going to be a really beauty because now you've got set up an A, B, C, D coming down, okay? And guess what else you're going to have there, folks? Okay, Johnny, see if you can do really good with your math. Now, that is called what? That's number one. And what is this one called, Johnny? That's right, number two. And put your placard up, what you think the next one would be. And, yes, it's going to be number three, just off the bottom of the chart down here, right about 590 and change. So pay close attention, folks. That's going to be a three-drive bottom. Remember, this commodity 16 months ago was trading limit bid two days in a row at $13 a bushel. Now we're breaking below six dollars a bushel and nobody even wants it except a few of us here at uh, tfnn so this is going to be a an, if it works and i you know we, we don't know for sure but it's set up perfectly you've got drive one set right here market comes down bang and that that was nothing more than the a b c d of that move okay and now we're looking for drive one Drive two, drive three, which will be down there probably uh, right about 590 would be my guess. That's about 10 cents, and we're coming down hard right now off of this 78% level today. That'll tell us we're probably going to be, you know, moving a little bit lower. Now remember, this is an hourly chart, so this was made last night, and we've been coming down uh, ever since. So let's pay close attention. Those of you that got our uh, early morning video that we sent out to sell the Dow Jones at the 61% retracement, which was uh, uh, 35,020, uh, 35, and the high was 35,030. That's up a couple hundred points, so uh, make sure that you have your stop uh, at least so you lock in about a $400 profit in case the uh, the market turns around and, and starts to rally. So that's something else that we need to be uh, focused on here. Uh, regarding the euro and, and some of these others, I really haven't been able to post any charts. Uh, I might be able to with a little bit of luck here. Hold on one second, and we'll get a rough idea if we can. Just give me a second here. Uh, let, let's, let's just post the... Uh, Post the chart of the uh, that Dow E mini because it hit exactly as we thought it would might, and that was a that was a pretty good thing. Let's see if we can 
get this up here. Oh my gosh, something has changed. This darn, darn thing is starting to work. Are you joking me? Be careful what you say. Okay, now this was before, long before the opening, folks. We were down in here when I sent this out, before the report came out, and I said, look to sell it here, stop above there, and it's had a big drop. This is, uh, that's been 200 Dow points, and the measuring the A, B, C, D on these takes it down another 150 to 200 points. So if this would make the A, B, C, D either today or Monday, which we're expecting it to, that's a, that's a big move now. You can't make expectations because you don't know what's going to happen next, but that's pretty much what we're looking at. Also, I missed a beauty. We were trying to sell the gold up there at the uh, 1980 level. It got to 1979 and missed it by a dollar, and it's broken 20-some bucks from that level and hasn't been able to even rally back to a 382 today. So that one's been a, a tiny bit frustrating. But uh, I'll tell you, these markets are really rocking and rolling, folks. This is what pattern recognition is all about because these fellows that run these algorithmic places, they're all in, interested in mathematics and they know where that stuff comes from. And they have to because you can see them do it time after time, how things stop exactly uh, like it did here in the Dow Jones at the 78% level and the NASDAQ at a, a little above the tiny bit above the 127 and the S&P coming in about four points lower than they were expecting. But that's pretty much how it works. And you got to watch what they're doing because uh, they're they're a big factor in the market. And it's certainly going to make a difference uh, long term whether you're going to be looking at that. Also, we've got a we got crude oil, believe it or not, folks, is approaching uh, 30, uh, what is this, 30, almost $36 a barrel, 40, 85, 65 in crude oil today. I want to get this up here to take a quick look so you'll be able to see what I'm watching here because I've got a little tiny, a little tiny, what we call a mini trade coming up here. So hold on one second. And uh, I been long this for a bit so I'm going to reverse and go short if in fact we get there I got my stop on the long side blocked up pretty good so here's where we are and we'll press this button and we'll see what we're looking at this is just today's action we got an ABCD up here down in here what happened here? we had this little tiny pullback in here there was your look at this beautiful ABCD right there folks it's just look at that a, B, C, D coming in right at the 61% retracement. And now we're going up to complete this. That number is uh, 85.79, I believe, is what we're watching here uh, in the crude oil. So we're going to see if it's going to be back here. Ah, we've got Joe on the line, and he'll be right back after the break. And we have him for the rest of the day. If you've got questions, he's got the answers. So we'll be back here really soon here with Mr. Joe DiNapoli. been my friend. I figured it out. He's been my friend since 19... What has it been? Been 19... No, it was 1969. It was February of 1969. That's when they opened the Conti offices in uh, West L.A. right there on little uh, Santa Monica and Wilshire Boulevard. Uh, yeah, Santa Monica and Wilshire Boulevard. That's not true. It was Santa Monica and Westwood Boulevard. And uh, that's where we hung out. Hey, we'll be right back, folks. Joe DiNapoli, stay tuned. And we'll have some fun. May God bless. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. C call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, with a little luck, I think we have Joe DiNapoli in the house. Joseph, are you there? Well, I think uh, I think we need a little bit more than a little luck here to get through these technical difficulties. But uh, <laughs> if you can hear we, me and if you can see the uh, screen, we're good. I think we're in good shape. I'll have to ask the folks there at uh, TFNN, and they'll tell me if everything's running smoothly, which I certainly hope that it is. Joe, I figured it out. We met in February of 1969 is when we first met because that's when well, I – that was a good year. I, I, I wish we would be getting together again in uh, Bangkok and Soy 39 yeah. at that uh, opera yeah. restaurant. That was, uh, that was oh, a good business. You know, it's closed now, Joe. It's uh, out of business. I thought it was just closed temporarily due to the um, no, traffic a, situation and all that. No, I got a friend there, that uh, a student who used to live in Hong Kong, and he lives there. And he is telling me that uh, they, it's not open anymore. It's, uh, there's another totally different uh, business there and everything. So I just uh, – I don't know if that's true or not. But, but without doubt, Joe, it's the best place outside of Italy that I've had Italian food. We used to go there every time we met there. And, God, it was – it was fabulous. Hey, let's let's get to the markets. These folks have been waiting to hear from you for a couple of months now. So tell us what you're looking at and what you have for us today. Yeah, well, first, a quick shout out. A number of uh, a number of listeners did come down here to Sarasota for private seminars. And we're, you know, we're happy to have them. We had a great time. And I'm sure they're still listening. So a shout out to all of those guys. And, uh, you know, I hope they're doing well. And I hope all that's just fine. It's actually been uh, over a year since well over a year since I've been on the program and a lot's happened wow. and given time I can uh, you know I can kind of get through uh, the past and then go on to the future I had a, a bunch of fills and a bunch of market um, market trades I don't know if we're going to get to them because the time was cut short but we can always get to them in a subsequent uh, get together back in uh, September 2021 um, I was on the show and at that time I was in 70% cash, and that was right about the top of the market. I was in cash T-bills, and uh, the only change in the cash position is I'm in higher cash position today. So I'm not particularly positive uh, equities. Uh, then and now, we have extraordinary liquidity risk, overvaluation risk, political risk, inflation, debt risk, risk of violence, 
you know, the wars going on. We're, we're in three bubbles. Two of those have burst. Uh, one of those have burst. And that spawns. Uh, we have the real estate and equities. Um, but, you know, this liquidity risk thing, Larry, we can make work for ourselves because there's these air gaps. And between the levels that you and I both look at, and uh, what's amazing about this is that you can put orders in. I put my orders in overnight. So, you know, if you look at the bid and the ask on an overnight session on the stocks I trade, I'm, I'm usually the one that's there. I have no hesitation to put those orders in. I get absolutely great fills. I am not afraid of it with proper sizing. Uh, all that is taken care of. So the liquidity risk, I should say the illiquidity risk, is, is actually something that, uh, that can work for us. Uh, in China, I just got back from China, as a matter of fact, but uh, in China, uh, the word for uh, chaos and opportunity are very close. And if you've got the right tools and you've got the right software, you can actually uh, turn turn chaos into opportunity, and I do that daily. Um, we're not going to go through it. We don't have the time, but most of the listeners are already, already familiar with ABC expansions and uh, – mm -hmm. And on a down expansion, it turns into support level, COP, OP, XOP. On an up expansion, resistance level, COP, OP, XOP. These things are absolutely golden. And uh, they're not hard to calculate. You do need to know how to draw your ABCs. And you, you, you do need to use the right Fibonacci ratios. Not all Fibonacci ratios work. And I'll be showing you some examples of this stuff today, given time. Uh, additionally, we can have retracements and we can have confluence levels, and these uh, these confluence levels are deadly for trading, and they let you know ahead of time where you want to put a buy or a sell order in. Now, typically, what I do is I have a bunch of orders in, and I leave them in over the overnight session, and these orders sit there, and uh, when these air gaps are hit, uh, I'm apt to get a fill. So it's a really neat way to trade. Uh, it's my way of thinking a safe way to trade. Now, on the next chart, I want to show you my uh, my my newest, latest indicator, Larry. So I, I, I'm going to have to get your comment on this. Can okay. you see that? Yeah. Was that a uh -oh. yes, Larry? My it's, yes, it was a yes, that. and that's disappeared. Just a minute, I'll have Al show me how to get it back. I saw it for just a second. Keep, please keep going, though. We're good. All right. Well, anyway, for those of you that can't see that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing the rear end of a baboon. And what I was going to ask Larry, had was he was able to see it, was what is the uh, connection between the rear end of a baboon and the current market low, or the market <laughs> low that was uh, uh, had in October of uh, 2022? And the answer to that is that both are unmistakable. In my 55 years of trading, I have never seen a more obvious low than the low that uh, that was apparent in October of 22. Now, we're looking at a quarterly chart of the NASDAQ, and you can see the uh, red and the purple numbers, which came in at a confluence level, and that confluence level held exactly. It was the only confluence level we had. We came right down to it. Those numbers were calculated at the high, at the high, four quarters later, we could get the low of the October 22 market. Now, if you go from a quarterly level and you go up to a yearly level, you can see the exact same picture with a perfect confluence level right at that 105, 106 level on the NASDAQ. This was the absolute easiest uh, low that I think I've ever seen in all my trading career. And I'm, I'll give you more reasons why it was so obvious. It wasn't just this NASDAQ chart. If we go to the daily, that's the exact same confluence level there. Um, that confluence level on the daily is just, you know, shows you a little bit broader picture. Now, if you look at the uh, monthly S&P futures, we had the bottom, the exact bottom of this. The exact bottom came in an XOP expansion. And uh, it was absolutely unmistakable, just like that baboon's rear end. If you go to a weekly, that shows the XOP on the S&P futures coming in at exactly the low. What is not shown is that the Dow had the exact same picture. And if anyone doubts that we were talking about this and uh, on and on uh, on our forums, 
You can go on our forums today and you can see all the conversations that we were having about this market low. This thing was dead obvious. Now, when we hit this kind of a market low, when we when we get to that kind of a low, what I do is I look through that whole list of buy orders that I have and I see if I'm close to any of those buy points. If I am and I am not filled, I will cancel replace at market. And I will usually the size I trade, I have to play games with the with the market makers and the algos in order to get a fill. But that's what it looks like. I mean, you just buy tons of stuff down there at these levels. I don't wait for the fill. I don't wait for another three cents. What I'm doing is I'm going to get the fill. We got to pay, pay a few bills here. We'll be back in two minutes with Joe okay. Knapp. Good stuff, Joe. I can wait. Joe, stay with us. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Joe DiNapoli. Please continue, young man. You know, it's it's nice to be back on, Larry. It's, a, it's just a lot of fun. It's a, it's a real treat, Joe. So please, uh, as long as we don't talk about things other that we can't talk about, let's just do it this way. <laughs> okay. Um, let me reiterate what I said because, because, you know, we're going fast here. We lost about 10 or 15 minutes. So just let me re reiterate. Um, the way I trade is I will have a lot of open orders in the market at deep support levels. 
and I will allow these orders to be filled, uh, you know, when the market comes to me. Limit orders. Rarely go to the market. Okay, now, when I get to a big, obvious, super simple, huge, yearly, quarterly, or monthly number, I mean, these things are so obvious. They're staring me in the face. If I am, of course, I can go into futures. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these stock trades. Mm -hmm. So um, what I do is I will look at this whole list. Usually I have 30 or 40 open orders in the market. I'll go through them, and if I'm close, I will cancel, replace at market, or I'll play games with the market maker so I can get a fill. That's that's the whole point. I'm doing it at a very, very safe level. The, the chances that I'm not going to get a bounce, a significant bounce from a kind, that kind of a level is almost zero. So, I mean, it's 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 – it's it's an easy trade. Okay, now what I'm going to show you next is a Morgan Tranley, uh, Morgan Stanley trade I did back in 2008. I made 300 300 percent in this trade in less than a day. What I'm going to tell you is that this is not the way I think you should trade or try to trade to make money. I'm going to show you what I think you should do. But on this particular trade, I want to show you how this stuff works when you have open orders in the market. When you have illiquidity like we had in 2008. All right, take a look at this chart. You're going to see an XOP on Morgan Stanley down at 1240. I was in Bangkok. Bangkok nightlife is great. I usually go out on a Thursday night. This is probably a Thursday night. It was September 18th, 2008. So I put an open order in the market and I got filled at 1326. You can see the fill. I got home that night. I took a look at the market. I, uh, I, I was half in the bag, and I went, wow, you know, okay, I got a fill. I got to put in an objective because whenever I get a fill, I put in an objective. 0.618 was between 33.26 and 36.25. I put an order in to sell. The very next – well, it wasn't even the next day. I cleared the order. I cleared this trade at 34.83. That's 300%. And it happened in uh, less than a day, actually. And there's the fills to show you. Now, some of you might think that that's a great trade. Eh, it's okay, you know, but that's really not what I'm going for. And I don't think that's what you should go for. Because over a period of 10, 10 years, let's say you make a million dollars five times. Well, you know, it's a whole lot better to make $50,000 a thousand times or $50,000 200 times. And what I'm getting at is that base hits are better than trying to get after, you know, a 300% gain, even though it is doable. Uh, here's an example of Meta. We have Meta before the uh, before the uh, earnings, the more recent earnings, and we have a COP at 206.18. I put an open order in the market. I got fill. There's the fill at 206.53, and it was bought in the overnight session. And you can see from the chart. It was a very pleasant ride up. Now, I don't remember where I took my profit, but I took it somewhere along the line. Next trade, run. Run has something to do with uh, all this, uh, you know, uh, clean energy stuff, whatever they do. I don't care what they do, but I know it's a stock that's touted. Okay. Um, we, have a, we have an XOP down here at 1738, and that's where I wanted to buy it. I had an open order in there for I don't know how long, a month, two months, three months, I don't know, but I had an open order in there. We come down to 1738. There's the fill. I was filled at 1735 and 1722. Now I'm long the market. What do I do? I put an exit order in at the XOP at just below 2160. Market didn't get there. We only got up to 2107. So on the pullback, I could form an additional ABC. That additional ABC gave me a COP expansion at 2059. 2059, take a look at the fill. I sold at 2045. Listen, the point is that I do this day in and day out. I do hundreds of trades like this. And it is very simple and it is very obvious. Now, I'm not doing it because of the excessive risk we currently have in the in the in the markets with 100% of my money. Uh, currently I have uh, I have 80% uh, in T bills and 20% in the rest because I'm very concerned that we may have a a, a huge drawdown at some point, and it could be overnight with some bad news. So I'm very, very cautious. But with the with the remaining 20%, I'm happy to trade like this and happy to make money. 
Um, what I like are a whole bunch of base hits. I, I, I it, it makes me happy. You got to pay a lot in taxes, but you know, <laughs> you know, Uncle Sam does it, right? They need it. Hey, hey Joe, we got a question. Yes. from one of our listeners. Do you do you follow? Uh, the question is, he believes that these algorithmic traders go searching for your orders, and I can tell him with one thousand percent, they don't give a hoot about you, and they're not looking at your stops or anything like that. But you don't. Do you follow anything that what these algorithmic traders do because they work off these numbers that we work off of? Any comment on that? Yeah, I taught some of these algorithmic programmers back in the in the early 2000s. I mean, that, that they were they were in my trading room, and I some of those programs that are written are based on what I taught them. Uh, I agree with you. They don't give a, 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 a you know I don't want to be crude here. They don't care where their orders are. What they're doing is they're sensing order flow. They don't even care about our numbers. They don't have to pre-calculate our numbers because what they do is they get in there and uh, and they see where the orders are. And when the orders start getting ticked off, they move away really fast. Now, we could spend the next half hour talking about how to overcome and how to how to uh, trick them. But there's lots of little tricks you can do uh, based on order flow where you can actually get a fill. But they will sense an order, especially a large order, if it's uh, if it's in the market. And they will prevent you from getting that fill. I can't tell you the number of times, you know, I'll have thousands and thousands of shares in the market. And these guys will come down, down and they'll, you know, they'll give me 18 shares and then they'll move away. Now what I have to do is play games. And some of the games you have to do is you have to cancel your order. Then you have to put in a smaller order. Then you've got to go a little bit above them and a little bit up below them. Uh, but it is doable. The beauty is that if the market is totally illiquid and they're scared, you know, they're, if their mm -hmm. testicles are up around their nipples, <laughs> then what you can do is your orders, your orders are going to get filled. And I have done that recently with uh, EDV, which I trade a lot, and that's, uh, uh, that's some kind of a mutual fund and long-term bonds. Uh, speculative, but good. This chart we're looking at here now is uh, basically an oil ETN. And when we came down very close to this 2497 level, uh, I wanted to buy because we're at an XOP. I mean, this isn't rocket science. If you know how to do these numbers and you got good software that's clear, uh, I mean, this isn't rocket science. 2497 is support. Look at my fill. My fill is at 2516. And you can see I bought more than 100 shares of this stuff. Now, where did I get out? Um, I have no idea where I got out. Let's see. Oh, what this is is oil futures. And notice that we did a little wash and rinse of that number. And that gave me even more confidence that I was I was the right way. This is the uh, oil futures. Now, where was my exit? I decided to take an exit at 2830, which was the OP on the move up. And uh, I did take that exit. And you can see that uh, my number was 20, 2822. So, I mean, this is... Got to pay a few more bills. Hey, Joe, yes, sir. Can, you, can you be on next week to finish up? Because I know you didn't have enough time. Maybe on uh, Wednesday or Thursday uh, you can come back? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to come back. We can, uh, we okay. can set a date. Um, it's okay, we'll do that later. I'll call you about it later. It's like a technical problem. You might think here. that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back with Joe Dinopoli. Uh Joe, this ETN that you're looking at, do you trade a lot of those ETNs? Is that primarily what you do, or do you just do some basic stocks? No, I, I mean, I trade whatever moves, you know, ETNs, <laughs> ETFs. Um, I trade the actual stocks. Uh, trade a lot of futures. Trade a lot of futures. Okay. But, you know, the, the, stocks, the stocks are inherently safer because it forces people to use less margin. Unless, of course, they're into options. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I trade the whole thing, and this thing works the same way. But I'm showing you a little bit longer-term trades here, uh, daily mm -hmm. trades, which I may be in for two or three days or a week or two weeks. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's just it, – it's a relatively safe way to trade. I mean, you know trading is not safe. But um, these, the, this, this approach, I think, is just really good. Okay. Please continue. Okay, um, did, were you were you saying something? My my audio is terrible here as far as hearing you, but I think you were talking about me coming back at some point. Is that right? Yeah, next week. Let's you want to pick it yeah, later on. Okay, I'll give that'll you a call. work. Look, you, me, and Tommy, we go back Christ half a century, so I'm yeah, I'm good for coming on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, good. Let, we'll we'll call call you and get it set up. So don't worry about it. All right, so let's continue. I trade this stock S T N E Stone. I'm not going to bother telling you what it does. It doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, to show you how this stuff works, we have resistance XOP at 1490. We have what we call an agreement area because the XOP and the 0.618 retracement at 1475, uh, they're very close. Now, what's interesting here is that the high of the day, which is clearly shown in this chart, is 1460. 1460 is the high of the day. Just keep that in mind. What's my fill? 1453, seven pennies off the high. That's with the algos. That's with the algos screwing with me. I can overcome those algos. All right, okay. let's look at the next thing. This is that EDV I was talking about, long-term treasury ETF. I love this thing. To date, I have never had a losing trade in this. I am knocking on wood because that could happen any time. But this is an absolutely wonderful thing to trade. Now, let's take a look here. We have a, an XOP at 87.83. And it's not clear, uh, but that we had a, a revisit retracement up there at 88.06. But anyway, the XOP is 87.83. We were getting close. The high of the day was 87.65. That was the high of the day, all right? Where's my fill? 87.64, one penny off the high of the day. This is what happens when you have liquidity, illiquidity working for you. You're the only guy standing, and you know where these numbers are, and you know how to calculate them, and you got good software. You know where these numbers are. These other guys, like I said earlier, they got their testicles up around their nipples, and they don't, they're afraid to trade this thing. You don't have to be. Trade them small. You don't have to make it all in one bunch. Small, uh, you know, keep, keep your equity in control. Remember, I'm only trading with... 20 to 30% of my of my equity. 
But that's because of the extraordinary risk that we're going on, that, uh, going through today. All right, some more stuff. Um, after I got that field, you can see how EDV um, moved along. Uh, okay, what's next? Uh, uranium. All right, so I like trading uranium, right? We had an XOP up there at 2190. And where's my fill? I got a fill at 2173. There was probably some algos in there trying to push this thing around. I saw that, so I got out a little bit below the 2190 mark. There's my fill there. And um, JetBlue Airlines, um, I'm not showing the subsequent reaction, but JetBlue came, now, now it's at five something, 590, I believe. I got out of this one at around uh, 785. Yeah, I got out of this one at 785. This is doable. I mean, this isn't magic. It's doable. Uh, there's stone. There's another. I trade this thing all the time. This time I was doing a short sale. The high was at 14.83. And um, where the hell did I get the fill? No. I got a, the fill here at 14.78. So over and over and over again, I'm showing you the same thing. Uh, if you want to trade futures, here's a futures chart. I'm not going to show you fills in this. I'm just going to show you the way you would trade it. We have a 0.618 and a 0.382 retracement level. You would sell at the 0.382. We have an ABC COP resistance level at, at 37.16. So what you would do is put your stop loss above the 37.16, put your sell at the resistance level, and take a ride down to the expansion that would occur from the high at 37.21 to the B low at 37.00, this is not shown by the way, to the subsequent high, you would then have an expansion down, COP, OP, XOP, to take your profit. The idea behind this stuff is that you have quality, clarity, and ease of use. And, and you really need that. Uh, I mean, if I don't have quality, clarity, and ease of use, I'll, I'll, I'll go fix one of my classic cars. You know, I'm not gonna screw with this stuff. <laughs> uh, it's too much, there's too much chance that, that, that you can make an error. If you have poor software, uh, you know, <coughs> yeah. excuse me. All right, now this is really an important trade because it, it or a really important couple of charts here. I hope we have time. Um, this pattern is called the bread and butter pattern. It was developed all the way back in 1985. It's in chapter six of my book, Trading with the Napoli Levels, and it is still working today. Let me show you how this thing worked. What you have is thrust. And it's contained by the three-day uh, displaced moving average. It's a three-day moving average at the close, displaced forward three days. When you have this pattern and it breaks below the three by three for two to three days, then that is your signal for entry. And you would enter this thing the way you would any of the other trades that I've talked about. You do your, your FIB calculations, your retracements, et cetera. Normally, these things bottom within... They bought them within uh, two to three days after breaking of the three by three, and then they have an expansion up to the 0.618 of the down move. Now, let me get this clearer by showing you a specific example. The profit objective, this is the NASDAQ futures on the quarterly, and there's the low that we talked about earlier that was as easy to detect as a baboon's rear end. All right, now, when we formed that low, we had three days under that displaced moving average one two three right down to a support level then we pushed up and we exceeded the objective of 1436 that was our objective now you don't sell this objective what you do is you take profits from the low now what we're now what we're looking for is we're looking for a pullback to that 1436 level this is an extremely important level on the nasdaq you must stay above that level if this market's going to maintain its bullish stance, and I don't think it's going to, but this is what you want to watch for. Now, the S&P has a similar level, the 0.618 from the down move. Again, this is the bread and butter trade. 1985, it was developed. It's working today. I don't know how many years later, but a lot. It is working perfectly, and if you go on our forums, you will see us talking about this over and over and over again. The objective in the S&P was 43.09. And this is where I took my profits from the lows. I got out, I got out of not all my longs, but I got out of a lot of my longs. Took my profits there. Now we're above that level. I am, uh, I am more short than I am long now, and I expect uh, a pullback to that revisit level. 
when we get to that revisit level, I'm going to have a problem. Am I going to take the profit on my shorts or am I going to look for a much longer trade? I have not yet decided what I'm going to do. Um, what do we, what, what's the situation? We've got Russia, China, political problems. Well, we've got a, uh, we don't want to talk me. about those. When we on, come back, on, we on, come on back. we got two minutes, and then we're going to be, have you on next week. we got to finish up. I really enjoy this. We'll have you on regularly every two weeks, okay? Yes, sounds great. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. Joe DiNapoli. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Joe DiNapoli of DiNapoli Levels. And Joe, uh, we've got about two minutes here, so why don't we take that? time to let the folks uh, if they want to reach you what's the best way to do that and then how about having you on next thursday starting at 1 10 p.m yeah thursday will be good they're going to stuff me okay. full of narcotics for some medical test on wednesday so i should be awake by thursday okay no problem we're going to do that and tell the folks how they could reach you if they do have an interest yeah uh, and also if we have time i'd like to give a little promotional thing here for the listeners sure go ahead and do started. that first yes please um FibTrader.com, F-I-B-T-R-A-D-E-R.com is how, to, how you can get a hold of me. Um, what I'd like to do is offer anybody that's listening uh, $99 for the book, Trading with Tenapoli Levels. It's printed in 12 languages around the world. We'll ship it free in the United States. Along with that, you get 60 days, you get 60 days free 
um, on our client forums. Uh, to get the special offer, you need to do this by Monday, September 4th. And you go to the miscellaneous section of our order page, t- type in Tommy $99. Now, along with the, um, along with the uh, book and access to our forums, you will also get, if you want it, a 60-day uh, or a 30-day trial for our uh, financial uh, forecast newsletter. It's done by a, game, a guy named uh, Peter Van Weck, and this guy is sensational. He's one of them. He's a Denapoli expert, and he is. You can't. You can't do any better than this guy. Uh, you have. You have 60 days to sign up for it, so you can read the book, understand what's going on, and then you can sign up for this newsletter. So it's, this is a hell of a deal for $99, and um, uh, you know you should take advantage of it because this is the. This is this is a good way to to learn this stuff and learn it learn it right. Uh, Next Thursday sounds wonderful, Larry. Okay, we're going to do that, my friend. So stay safe. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. We're going to see you at 110 on Thursday. That'll be Thursday the 7th. All right. uh, Wonderful. Uh, Glad glad to share with the listeners. And I hope that this presentation did somebody some good out there. Did me uh, good. We We didn't get banned this time. That's good. (laughs) I love you, buddy. Take it easy, okay? Building wealth.